I feel a little bad that you just have to keep watching me eat all these amazing meals, so I decided I'm gonna get you a little food. Mmm, crave beef jerky, pink peppercorn. You know what, let's go. I'm here to share. Oh, okay. See, that's why we're friends. You're so sharing. Mmm. It's good. We're good, right? Now that I'm not so hangry, um, you know, when I have a day off in L.A., personally, I like to take day trips. Well, me too. That's one of my favorite things to do. And I actually went to Catalina, and I saw a little bit about the history of Catalina at the Catalina Museum. Hi, Rob. Oh, hi. This is really cool. How do you get people on this? <laughs> well, not maybe on this. It's a model. No, well, this is actually my first time at the museum. I don't even know where to begin. Well, this really is the intro to everything you need to know about the islands, from Mr. Wrigley purchasing the island and what his dream was for the island, and also bringing the Chicago Cubs, and we had a role in World War II. There's many different ways to view the island and see its history. You know, I, I really had no idea there was so much history behind this island. I could probably spend hours in here just walking around, but I have a question for you. When I walked in, I noticed that piece of art hanging up from the ceiling. What was that? That is a chandelier by Dale Shahuli. He's an internationally renowned artist, and we currently have a museum-wide exhibition, indoors and outdoors, of his work. Would you like to go see it? Would I like to see? Of course I would like to see. <laughs> Gil, this literally looks like Alice in Wonderland is coming to life right in front of us. Yes, it really takes your imagination and lets it go. You can walk around and see many different pieces. Of course, some of it look like hands or flowers or trumpets. It's really quite a piece. Well, what do you think his inspiration was? He's Millefiori. It really means a thousand flowers, and it's inspired by the time he spent with his mother in her garden when he was young. I noticed these red pillars. What, what were those? They're his red reeds, yeah. and it's a really nice contrast with the foliage of the garden. And then also at night, they're dramatically lit for a perfect space for events and rentals. So you guys do events? We do. We have our museum events, but we also have space for someone to have their wedding or a cocktail party or a corporate event. And imagine it among this beautiful glass. I don't know if I would trust all my friends with alcohol around this glass. However, I'm going to go explore, and I promise I'm not going to break anything. Maybe. Maybe.